Welcome back everybody. We're gonna head out and do an old-school hunt from the ground tonight. Uh, this terrain around here doesn't really uh, bode well for the buggy hunting, so we got to do it the old-fashioned way. Um, the loadout, I'm waiting on the ranch owner to show up and then we'll head out some weight and I figured I'd do, tell you the loadout. Everybody always likes to know what I'm using. So for my helmet, it'll be the same as what I always wear, Team Windy helmet with a L3 Warrior Systems PVS-14, the Envision Nox 18 on the other eye, the bridge that's connecting it to the helmet is the D14 integrated components. Uh, the, the D14, the PVS-14, and the Nox are all available at Huey Outdoors, which is my store, sell night vision and thermal. Then on the rifle, I'm running a, it'll be an LWRC lower with a PWS 16 inch upper chambered in 7.62 by 39. I have a Q Thunder Chicken suppressor on it from Silencer Shop. And then the optic that I'll be running on my rifle tonight is the new Thermion XL50 HD, which is the 1024 brand new Thermion. Uh, ammunition wise, I'm just shooting 122 grain hollow point uh, steel case. So, so that's what I'm running tonight. The guy that's, that's going to show up here with me, he's running an AK with an old Trail 2 that he actually bought from me at Huey Outdoors. Trail 2s are not available anymore. He's running 122 grain full metal jacket. So that's what he runs, the cheapest stuff he can find. So uh, we'll, we'll head out as soon as he gets here and see what we can do. All right, guys, we found the group that we've been looking for. They've been hitting these feeders up here. He's told me they've been out here. Uh, from what we can tell, there's about 16 hogs. Um, looks like a big, big sow, and then some average sized ones, a few piglets. Uh, there's no moon yet. Uh, it's uh, pretty chilly outside, some fog, but the skies are clear. Uh, they're about 200 yards out, so we're going to have to stock up on them. But it, it, they're out in the open, so it should be a fairly easy stock. This should, if we do our part, uh, wind's in our favor right now. So um, here we go. Oh, that one just didn't zoom in. He's already been hit multiple times. Dude, that little first volley, I think every fire I shot I fired was hitting something. All right, it's magazine talk time. We just got on a group of, we counted 15, there might have been 16, somewhere 14 to, to 17 pigs. We got 11 laying out there right at the, in the field. Um, it, it went perfect. Uh, the wind was in our favor. The only thing that we would have wanted to do better would maybe get a little bit closer, but to climb the gate would have made, they were so close to the gate, to climb the gate would have made too much noise and given us away, so we, we just set up on the on the gate and shot from there and uh, the plan was both of us I shot I was on the left he was Alan was right of me so 
I shot the one farthest to the left, he shot the next one in line, which forced them to run instead of to the trees where they wanted to go, they ran away from those impacts and across front. We, we devastated them. Everything, I think maybe two pigs might not have got hit, but uh, like I said, 11 out of the 15 are laying dead right there. And then there's a couple out there that took rounds that went farther out that are known hit, but they they just hadn't died yet. We'll find those tomorrow at 100. But you couldn't get couldn't get better um, than that. And you know suppressors and planted it out worked. If he had a shot on the right and I had a shot on the left, or if one of us had a shot in the middle and we hadn't talked about it, the pigs would have scattered. And they would have ran to the trees. He would have been on the right of me and not got any shots. Um, so it helps even with multiple shooters if you talk and, and make out a plan of what's going to go on uh, it doesn't always work but this time um, it, it definitely worked very well